then that's the first um, general um, issue about the connection fa connection failure. There. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. The next one, and I would like to talk a little bit about the the one of a very famous one um, issue there, uh, permission denied. Uh, for the permission denied, how can we um, diagnosis this kind of permission permission uh, denied here? For the permission denied, you can see there were a list of a uh, potential list of a uh, region root cause here. Maybe the username and the password, and uh, the phone number, uh, and device device ASD is doesn't match each other, and then the user, the mobile user is not a super user. Um, I would like to show you how can you diagnosis um, to check uh, the permission um, deny how to find the root cause um, here. Okay, so we still uh, can go back to the uh, integration um, uh, integration framework um, there. Uh, once you have the permission deny, and then you can uh, when you get the permission deny error from your iPhone application, and then and that means the network connection. Um, Permission deny indicate the error. Um, the request, uh, the login request has been sent to B1IC backend, and B1IC backend has um, tried to uh, get the login information and try to authenticate, try to authenticate uh, uh, your mobile um, user there. But finally, um, the permission they check the permission, check the license, and then check the username and password. But something is wrong there. Okay, so never mind. Let's have a look at how can we. Um, um, Troubleshooting for the permission deny here. So just go to the integration framework and click on the menu monitoring. Actually, the B1I uh, integration framework provide a very very useful uh, authentication monitor there uh, for you to um, troubleshooting the permission denied error there. So just click the authentication monitor from the left panel, and then as you can see, it, um, uh, you will list all of the um, uh, permission and authentication um, lock. Um, one by one. Um, for the Excel sheet, that's for the dashboard. So we don't um, care about the dashboard. What I would like to look is finding out my mobile um, package there. Okay, you can see them. Uh, I got uh, a quite of the mobile package uh, looking there. So as you can see here, um, the first column uh, would be the um, success, the login, this login information. So this the login and this the authentication checking. So for my mobile package, my login is okay, and actually, you can just go to the last, um, the last uh, mobile um, uh, authentication log there, and then you just click the login information. Just have a look at your login information there to match to check each other. So, uh, actually, in the background, actually, my login information is fine. Uh, why? Because it's it's okay here. So that means my login information is fine there. And as you can see, we need to make sure that the first one check your phone number. The phone number here, and uh, that's the phone number from your uh, from your B1 user, and also the phone uh, the port number 111. That's the uh, that's the phone number setting here, okay, and then they need to match each other. So that means the the phone number you setting up, okay, setting up in my business one. Um, I just go to my uh, mobile mobile user there. And then, for my mobile phone number here, I setting one one one, okay. And for my uh, for my um, device, I setting also the one 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 here. So they match each other here. So the phone number is setting the right one. And the device ID, I setting up the device ID here. That's the U UDD ID for my uh, iPhone device here. There's a device ID and. This one device ID they must match this one as well. Of course, it match in here as well because my login information is fine. That means I got the right phone number, device ID, and even the username and password um, set up here because I login login has success. But the problem, um, uh, the problem there, uh, the problem there is this the mobile user there. And uh, the problem in this case, the problem in this case is uh, the authentication fail. The Authentication checking fail. So in this case, uh, we can um, debugging um, the authentication fail for the 
for the further reason there. Or either you can have a look at the authentication information, but mostly you don't, you don't get the right information there. But never mind, um, you can debug. Uh, actually, um, B1IF, the tool for providing the debugging there, you can debug into the um, the step um, one by one. Now, what I'm going to do is showing you to um, how can you um, how can you um, um, checking out the the authentication um, checking information there. So I just click the debug, and then I got this nice um, uh, flow um, information data information there. So the first one, um, just click the the red bolt in the last end basic flow here, and then now we can see the final. Um, checking authentication result there. Okay, for me, um, actually I get everything is right. My B1 result call is right, and then that's the uh, username password for my B1. That's everything works fine. And also for the for the last one for the uh, result for the license checking, that's true as true. And so that means the uh, the authentication checking for my license works very good as well okay uh, alright so uh, because everything for me uh, for this um, 